Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India lecture number 45 we have been discussing about the lagrange points so in that context uh, we'll look into the sun earth system uh, very briefly because already we have discussed about the um, uh, earth moon system uh, accordingly the sun earth system is there so here in this case uh, if you look into the the sun is located here and the earth is located here in this point so here is your earth and uh, the sun is located in this point so l1 point it lies around 1.5 million kilometers from the earth on the left hand side so this is your 1.5 kilometers 1.5 million kilometers or 1.5 into 10 to the power 6 kilometers similarly on the right hand side the l2 is located at around 1.5 into 10 to the power 6 kilometers and this you can compute all the uh, distances already I have listed here. So, using these distances and the mass of the sun and uh, mass of the earth as it is mentioned here. So, th this details are given here. So, using these details you can work out these distances. So, there have been mission though the L 1 and L 2 are unstable points, but mission has been sent to see the sun is here and the earth is located here this is your point L 1. So, mission has been sent to this point where perpendicular to this line joining in the orbit if you look like uh, so I have drawn the orbit like this, but if you see if, uh, I will rub it out and if you look from the side. So, if this is your L 1 point. So, the orbit this is the side view of the orbit ok and if you look from this point. So, orbit will appear like this. Okay. So, at L 1 satellite has been sent and satellite orbits around L 1 though the point L 1 is unstable, but by orbit keeping you can keep the satellite here in this place. This is your earth, this is sun and this is earth. So, a mission called SOHO was located at L 1 ok in an orbit. Of course, this has to be maintained it because it is an unstable one. So, it will not stay there, but mission has been sent there and this is the sun observation satellite. So, the, for the study of the sun this has been used. Similarly, the satellite can be sent here to the L 2 point also. So, if your L 2 is located say here in this point L 2 is located then the same kind of orbit can also be placed on this side, but if you have on this side the L 3 is located. So, this is of no use because this will get eclipsed by the sun okay. and uh, any satellite if somebody tries to place here at L 3 this will be of no use. So, L 1 and L 2 have been used for locating the satellite and ob observing the behavior of the sun or the studying the sun. Now, we look into the
Jacobi integral we have derived earlier. In the normalized form, we once we put omega equal to one, so we got the normalized form. Otherwise, in the non-normalized form, we have written it like this. So, how the Langrange points they uh, emerge from this is this equation can be studied. This is basically an energy equation. synodic frame. Now, V square this is a positive quantity which is always greater than equal to 0. So, this implies that x square plus y square on the normalized scale if we write this will be always greater than equal to 0 it cannot be negative and this quantity also we have written as phi minus c this is greater than 0 where phi is a function of of course here in this case z is not appearing because it gets reduced to a planar case as we have discussed earlier. in this point the z is not appearing this is what I mean to say. Now, this is the uh, equation of a surface. Okay, so, it says that if v a square is always greater than equal to 0 because it is a positive quantity at which it can be 0. So, that means your particle is not allowed to cross the surface. Say if I have a surface and if on this surface v equal to 0 means phi equal to c this is indicated by So, then this surface cannot be penetrated you cannot go from this side to this side until unless it is allowed. So, this we are going to study and from this how the Langrange points they emerge okay, so that we will look uh, graphically. So, one thing we have uh, I will remind you again and again that if we have two masses one primary mass m 1 and the secondary mass m 2. So, the Langrange points are located in the plane of the orbit. Okay. So, if this is rotating like this about this point this is the orbit orbital plane of the m 1 and m 2. So, the l 4 and l 5 are located like this 
L3 is located on this side, L2 is located on this side and L1 is located here. So, all these are coplanar. While here in general, this is R1 and R2, uh, as you remember that R1 we have written as x minus x b1 square plus y square plus z square and R2 we have written as x plus x b2 square plus y square plus z square. So, phi is not a planar surface, okay. it is a three dimensional surface. But using this, we can get to know that okay, there are certain points to which uh, let us write here on this side phi this equal to c to which this will get reduced as the value of c is changed. where C indicates energy of the system in the synodic frame. This stands for total energy in the synodic frame. So, phi minus C this is always greater than equal to 0 and let us say case 1 we start considering case 1 and c is equal to c 0 is very large. And how it is possible if we look here in this equation. So, this is possible by x square plus y square becoming large or R 1 tends to 0 or R 2 tends to 0. In either of the three ways, it is a possible. So, if we look from that point of view, okay. see here in this case, uh, this figure has been taken from the reference Archie Roy. the astrodynamics by Archie Roy already I have uh, given names of all the books. So, here this is showing your uh, C 1 in this point, uh, you can view the uh, cursor, this is your C 1. Okay. So, this is one of the surface being shown here, inside this you have the points. 1 minus mu star written here and mu star written here on the right hand side. Okay. So, on all these surfaces you the C equal to C 1 has been written okay. and this circle is shown larger and the on the right hand side the circle is shown smaller. And what is the reason? This is all not a circle, but almost a circle. So, we can consider it to be a circle or some oval shaped. Okay. Similarly, here if you see in the figure B, so in the figure B also if you look uh, C equal to has been set to C 2 okay. and then the size of this surface it grows and then it merges somewhere and here the point has been written as L 2, but this point where it appears we follow this point as L 1, we do not write this as L 2, but rather as L 1. L 2 we have taken on the right hand side of the mass mu or mu star here mu is referring to the m2 ok so the, this has got a different notation that book so uh, but the figure is ok 
the only thing that the notation we have to change. Thereafter, you can see that the, the as the value of the c is changed, so this the two inside uh, the white uh, surfaces they merge, and here the L2 is appearing. So uh, L2 is already there, but now the the two surfaces merge, and uh, you can see that uh, um, some doll shaped of things uh, it has appeared. Okay. Similarly, the L3 which is being shown here, this is actually L3. L3 here in this point, as you can see, I am uh, shadowing it. So this L3 is our L2, not L3 here. L3 is on the left hand side for us. And here, uh, what has been shown as the L1, this is our L3. Okay. And what has been shown as the L2, this is our L1. And what has been shown as the L3, this is our L2. And L4 and L5, similarly, uh, they emerge here in this place. So, we will discuss this how all these points they emerge from this the equation we are using. Okay, so, we have been discussing here about that. So, once c equal to c 0 is very large. So, uh, as I stated this is possible if r 1 tends to 0 or r 2 tends to 0 or x square plus y square this tends to infinity. So, I will show it like this. So, we have point here I am showing it as spherical for convenience. So, this is one surface I am showing here and another surface I will show by a smaller size. M 2 is located here, M 1 is located here, this is your R 1 and this is R 2. The question is why I am showing this R 1 uh, to be larger and R 2 to be the smaller. This will be evident from the equation we are using. C equal to this quantity we have written. Let us say this r 1 tends to 0 and r 2 is having certain finite value. So, at that time we can ignore these quantities because once r 1 tends to 0 you can see that this quantity will become very large. So, if c equal to c 0 this corresponds to 2 minus mu star divided by r 1 square. So, R 1 2 minus mu a star divided by C 0. So, if C 0 is very large you can see that R 1 tends to 0. Okay. Now, along the same line we can write R 2 equal to 2 times mu a star divided by C 0. So, if we do that immediately it will be visible why R 1 and R 2 are shown with different size of the sphere or the circles whatever you say. Reason is mu a star is less than 1 minus mu a star. We are taken m 2 to be a smaller mass. So, immediately you can see that the r 2 will be less than r 1 for that reason and therefore, we show it by a smaller circle. So, here this is c equal to c 0. region inside it is a forbidden 
in this region no particle can exist. So, somewhere your L 3 is located here, L 2 is say located here in this point and uh, L 1 is located in mid between somewhere in this point. So, if you have this kind of configuration, so these are the shown by this uh, blue shaded portion. So, it is not possible to go from this one to the bigger circle to the smaller circle. So, there is no communication you, you cannot go from uh, send particle from one uh, circle to the another circle. Okay, next we uh, so uh, and this is your R1, R2, and also we should show this is corresponding to x square plus y square. Once x square plus y square becomes very large, so in that case R1 and R2 can be ignored in this equation, and directly you can see that x square plus y square it is represented by c. When c is decreased, so let us say c equal to c 1 which is less than c 0. So, this can happen if in your equation for phi this can happen if R 1 goes up R 2 goes up means increases. and therefore, c will decrease or x square plus y square goes down this decreases. So, under these three conditions you will see this to happen and along the same line we can work out this. So, here in this case this circle becomes large, this circle also this becomes large, this is m 1, m 2 is located here, l 1 is located here, on this side you have l 2 and on this side you have the l 3 located as I have shown in the previous figure uh, that the figure from the Archie Roy what I have shown. So, this is how this comes into picture. So, whatever we are showing here you can consider this to be the cross section of the surface and this is how it is visible. Okay, and then here we will write c equal to c 1 which is less than c 0. This also on this you have c equal to c 1, c equal to c 1 on the surfaces. 
so here your x x square y square this has sinked so from the the distances we are taking from the barycenter barycenter somewhere if, if this is a bigger mass so barycenter let us say uh, this distance we are taking from barycenter because x and y has been written from the refer to the barycenter so this is your point b which we have written as the barycenter and this is then x square y square the same is also applicable here in this case so your x y square this is x square y square x square plus y square this decreases this goes down it shrinks so the outer surface is shrinking and the inner surfaces are growing up in the next level in the case 3 as the value of c is further decreased so now these surfaces they touch each other this is the location of the l2 in l1 okay and l2 is located somewhere here and l3 is located somewhere let us say in this point here this is your r1 and this is R2 C equal to C1 we have taken there so this is C2 is less than C1 less than C0 and the forbidden region is the shaded by the green line this is the forbidden region so once the c value is further decreased so the r1 and r2 they go up and x square plus y square this goes down so this surface shrinks this shrinks while these surfaces they expand so r1 and r2 this these are going up and x square y square quantity this goes down okay and as a result your l1 point manifest now thereafter we further decrease the value of the c then the two surfaces they merge like this so l1 is located somewhere here and then two surfaces has merged l3 is located here in this point So this is your L3, L1 is here and L2 is just being is about to manifest and outside you have this covering. So on this you have C equal to C3 in this case, case 4. So this is as a result of R1 going up, R2 going up and x square plus y square this is going down so c equal to c3 is less than c2 is so because of this it has shrinked and this is the forbidden region now you can see that the masses are here 
this is your mass m1 and the mass m2 is located here so the movement can take place from mass m1 to m2 this is not forbidden region Th that shown by the pink color is the forbidden region this is forbidden region this is point l2 about to manifest okay so if we keep on doing this iteration okay then the all the three uh, lagrange points will manifest one after other so we refer to the figure uh, the graphics i have shown already from the archie roy so l2 now manifest here in this point and l3 is about to manifest now it is uh, on the curve itself or on this surface itself mass m1 is located here mass m2 is here and l1 is located here in this point so size of the circle has further diminished though i am not showing by the same kind of thing you can refer to that figure or refer to the book by archie roy on astrodynamics so this is your forbidden region now c equal to here earlier we have taken c equal to c3 so again the r1 has further gone up r2 has also further gone up and x square plus y square this has gone down in the case 6 l3 comes here in this point So this is the location of the L3. Now it has come over the surface. C equal to C5 is less than C4. Mass M1 is here. Mass M2 is here. L1 is located here. L3 has come here, and the point L2. This has opened up. Means the point L2 is also accessible. okay l2 is just accessible now here it's opened up so in this open area this is the hashed area is forbidden area this is the forbidden area rest other area it's a accessible so this part opens up okay so as the value of c is further decreased as c further goes down so then what happens your mass m1 is here and mass m2 is located here okay 
point L 1 is located here. So, as you see in the previous figure, this figure will start shrinking instead of like this, now this will shrink like this. This part also as you increase the value, uh, decrease the value of the C, so this will further shrink and thereafter further decrease this will further shrink. Okay. So, as you keep decreasing the value, so ultimately the point L 4 and the point L 5 they will manifest. So, so, this is what I was trying to show here. So, as you further decrease, so you have the L 4 and L 5 points. coming into picture. On this side we have L 3, on this side we have L 2. This is L 4 is has started to manifest, is about to manifest. So, finally, in the case 8 we conclude this. So, we have mass m 1 and mass m 2 located here. So, your point L 1 is located here and obviously here uh, if you see if, uh, it's uh, being shown here but uh, it's not true that it's a uh, located as we know this will be located in at the vertices of the equilateral triangle so i will shift it little bit here in this point and so like this so this is your l4 and here this is your l5 so finally your L 4 and L 5 they will manifest over the vertices of an equilateral triangle on this side you will have L 2 L 1 is already here in place and on this side we will have L 3. So, this way all the points are now available to move from one point to other point. So, the phi which we have written x square plus y square 2 times 1 minus mu star divided by r 1 2 mu star divided by r 2 equal to c. So, that means phi equal to c this is also called the Hill's surface. or the Hill's limiting surface. because this surface this surface cannot be penetrated cannot be crossed okay so we'll conclude uh, this chapter uh, lecture here and uh, in the next lecture uh, one more lecture I will devote to the uh, issue of Langrange points because whatever we have discussed um, it is all about the stationary Langrange points in the synodic frame they appear to be stationary. Okay. These are the stationary solution as you remember we have written it by the solution we have got by putting x double dot equal to y double dot z double dot equal to 0 and x dot equal to y dot z dot equal to 0. So, in the synodic frame this is the situation, but if we look in a on for a dynamic solution which we call call as the generalized Langrange solution. So, the generalized Langrange solution is also available it was developed by Langrange. Okay. So, there the shape of the triangle it will remain the same but the size of the triangle will change it may contract it may expand it may oscillate similarly the linear solution we were the linear solution we have looked at the l1 l2 l3 so uh, in the stationary solution these are the fixed points in the synodic frame but in a generalized solution these points are not fixed rather the ratio of these points they remain in uh, actually they remain in the distances between the points they remain in a particular ratio which I will uh, describe little bit 
uh, in the next lecture. So, I will devote one more lecture to this and then we will wind up this chapter uh, because time does not permit uh, we uh, very limited number of uh, lectures we are only 5 lectures we are meant for uh, uh, this year uh, discussing the Langrange points, but we have taken a lot more uh, than that. So, uh, in the next lecture I will wind up uh, this particular issue uh, giving you little bit of uh, introduction to that topic and uh, hands out I will supply in which you will get all the details all the mathematical conclusions how the points L 1, L 2, L 3 they are unstable and L 4 and L 5 they are stable. So, all those things will be discussed uh, in those handouts. So, if, uh, wait for the uh, course to start. So, at that time we will get all those materials. Thank you very much.